So here's a solution to doing cowbells on a PIC 18F18313, a tiny little device. There you go, it's an 8 pin device here. And uh, what I've done is uh, connected up two software NCOs, so you have two different frequencies um, and you mix them. Now the question is, is how do you mix them and also when you're doing a, a bell sound you need an envelope on it as well, so how have I done that? Um, so the way that I've done that is I have two software NCOs, as I mentioned just here. These are updated every 20 microseconds, which is 50 kilohertz, so we've got a nice fast sampling rate. And these software NCOs uh, change the input on the, the, the D inputs on a D type flip flop as the configurable logical logic cell. There's two CLCs on this chip and uh, the soft one software NCO, the top bit of it goes to the D input of one of the CLCs and the uh, second software NCO, which runs at a slightly different frequency to create the cowbell sound, goes into the D input of the other one. And then what we also have, which is run synchronously with this, is we have two PWMs. We've got a tiny pulse coming from the PWM6 um, peripheral and that clocks in um, every 20 microseconds, so again synchronous, clocks in the, the um, top bit of the software NCOs. So these can go high or low depending on what those NCOs are. And then we need an exclusive OR gate. Now I've used the digital signal modulator to do that because you can configure it to do such a thing. Um, a little bit of tweaking. It's not too hard to do, you just need to put your thinking cap on, but I've got the software here and uh, I'll present that. And uh, the question is, how do we control the envelope? So what I do is I have another PWM, which again is running synchronously with all of these things here. So it's running at um, 50 uh, kilohertz or 20, 20 microseconds. And we can control the envelope on here by essentially resetting these D-type flip-flops. So what happens is, is every 20 microseconds we get a little pulse just to uh, pulse in the software NCOs and also we have on here the envelope here which is controlled by PWM5 and um, uh, this will reset it so in order to have it quiet we just have this envelope resets very very quickly after this initial pulse here um, and in fact this can come in at any time so if you set the envelope the PWM duty cycle to zero percent this will always present a zero and a zero here so you get nothing out um, but equally, if you maybe set it to a 10% duty cycle, then, then the, um, there'll be a short pulse, only 10% of the width within that uh, 20 microseconds, 50 kilohertz um, sampling rate. So that's how I've done it. Um, this is a quick schematic of it, although I have actually um, put this on, a, on t using a curiosity board. Um, but essentially I've got a pot going into here, which is... Uh, a and a5 or ra5 the output this is the dsm output here i've got a low pass filter here it's implemented on this breadboard whether you actually need that or not questionable uh, i've got an amplifier there you go and a speaker so i cheat a little bit there so the question is how well does it work well, I've used uh, this score of the Swan. The reason I use the Swan is because uh, Bill Bailey, who's a, an English comedian, he also is a, is a musician. He um, did a cowbell of the of the Swan, uh, which is from the animals. Uh, or put the it's what is it? The Carnival of the Animals. That's it. So uh, it's on YouTube. So if you want to watch it, it's there. And uh, I'll just see if I can give you a quick quick run through. See what it's like. Okay, so the question is, is did we do how, did, how well did I do on this? So let's uh, run up the code.
So you can see the envelope there, if I stop it. So you can see the envelope there, and um, you'll also notice that it's repeatedly dinging. So how to do the dinging? Well, what essentially I've done, I'm, assuming it's, I'm simulating an, an attack decay um, envelope on here, and the attack decay makes it so that it's um, the attack decay makes it so it simulates the uh, cowbell. And I did some investigation on this, and actually it's, there's two decay rates. See, there's a short attack, and then two decay rates. Let's see if we'll stop it again. Okay, there we go. So you can see there's an initial very sharp attack, and then there's a sort of uh, quick decay, and then there's a much slower decay. So that's how I've done that. And that's how you do cowbells.